Welcome to Handcrafted by GR Broussard. I am Greg Broussard, and today we have this beautiful table that came in. It's eight foot long, four foot wide. It's a breakfast table. The issue that they're having with it is it started to bow, apron started to come off, and the top needs to be refinished. You can see the aprons are starting to separate. There's a slight bow to this entire side, or cup, if you will, that goes this way. All the aprons on this side have started coming apart and the threads have ripped through. So what we're going to do is remove all the braces, all the aprons. We're gonna put calls on it. We're gonna to try to flatten it up. We're gonna sit up against the wall for about a week or so, a couple days, and see if we can get that out of it. That could have been twisted because one of the legs was kinked sideways a little bit. So this possibly could fix it. So we're gonna go ahead and just start removing all these screws. I've already marked the aprons so I can put them exactly where they go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these off camera. We'll pop these off. We have all the aprons and braces off and you can see that this table is severely warped. We're gonna flip it over, put some clamps on it and let it set and see if we can straighten her out. We've got all the calls on. We're gonna let this sit for a few days and see if we can straighten it out. If this does not work, we have one more method in store. So we've let this table sit about seven, eight days and it's a lot straighter. I took the calls off and it's a lot straighter than it was. It's not perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put angle iron down. I'm gonna go ahead and cut slotted holes in here so the table can move back and forth. I'm gonna put an angle iron on, on each side and then one down the run down the middle. And like I said, the table will still be able to move. And that's how we're hopefully going to resolve that issue. I'm going to come through and I'm going to fix the uh, holes that were pulled out from the aprons and flip it over and do the top. While the angle iron dries, I'm gonna start fixing these screw holes. And it's obvious the ones that it tore out, the apron was here and the table flexed it and it pulled these screws out just on the apron sides. And you can see how wallered out that is. We're gonna fix probably three of those on this side. It definitely, you can see this one, just goes in there and fix that one. All the ones with the aprons we have to fix. Those are the ones that came out. The uh, the aprons and the supports going for the forfeit with the long ones, they seem to be fine because when it, the table flexed, that board moved with it and it didn't affect it. So we should be good to go. I don't think I have to do anything on this side. Yeah, I do. Just in case, I'm gonna do these two. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do those two because those those probably had a lot of stress on them. So I've got uh, quite a few holes. I'm gonna show you how I do this. I'll do this one. So you can see what I'm doing. All I did is I got the depth of the hole and I didn't only do one. I went and got a couple depths so I knew that I wouldn't go too deep. And then I put uh, a desktop on my drill and I've got a one fourth inch dowel and we're gonna drill in here and then we're gonna glue it and we're gonna widen this hole just a little bit. That's it. So we'll get some glue and we'll stick this in there and then when we put the uh, part back on, it'll be new threads in that hole. I would just have to add glue to it and put the dowel in and um, come on glue. I just put a little in the hole. Some sawdust in there. It's okay. And then I'll put a little bit on the dowel. And this will make this will make us um, so make new threads in the end of the, end of the table for us. Until it bottoms out, get your flush trim. You know, I just use a Japanese pull saw and I'm just gonna go just a tiny bit, a little bit up. I don't wanna mess the table up at all. I don't want the blade to hit the table. And then I'll get my little baby plane and with the stuff that's sticking out, I'll just hit this. And the reason why I'm using such a small one, because I don't want to take this, the, this surface off so the, this blade will go in between. 
and flush that out. Okay, so that one's ready for new threads. Now I'm gonna do the rest of them. So I'm laying out my angle iron and I've got a brad point bit the same size of the hole we drilled. And I put it in there and I marked the center of this. I went four feet from the each edge, put a little mark. And then what I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole and insert a screw lightly, not all the way. And um, so this will be down and then I can make sure that this is perfect. I'll mark each hole. I'll take this back off and I'll pilot hole all of them. And then we'll, we'll flatten this. We'll, we'll pull this up to this and we'll flatten this as we go. We're going to work from the middle out. We're going to work this way. This will be squished up. We'll work that way, squished up, and we'll do the two end ones. Now that that screw's in, I can put a square on this and I can square this up, make sure it's squared properly. And it should look really awesome. I think it's going to work just fine, just like that. And we'll flatten this out. All right, we've got the, uh, the angle iron on, three pieces of angle iron on. It looks really good. This thing is almost perfectly, perfectly flat. The only thing I was nervous about is the very, very end comes down just a slight bit. This is the only way I think this is gonna be kept flat and there's enough room in there for the table to expand. And I'll put the, uh, the aprons on, the middle braces on, and these corner pieces on. Uh, and of course, I'll clean up the bottom of it. We'll flip it and we'll strip it. All the aprons are on, angle iron supported in there. Everything's good to go. Uh, I flipped it over. I'm gonna start stripping it and we should be uh, good to go. After using the veneer scraper and coming through and scraping some of this stuff off and using some of these other smaller scrapers, um, this stuff is it's coming off, but it's, um, I think, I think the better option, I didn't want to do this, but I think the better option is to go ahead and chemically strip this. And I'll do a light a light strip on here just to loosen the stuff up. Then I'll scrape it off with a car scraper and, I'll, and, um, and with my, my other scraper, I'll scrape it off. So that's how we're going to have to strip this, I'm, I'm afraid, because this just stuff is, uh, I didn't think I'd have to use chemical in here, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I don't think I have a choice. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that process. A super easy process with this stripper. It's just basically like any other stripper. You just put it on there, kind of thick, and this stuff works pretty immediately. And I'll be sure not to drip around the table. We just installed the table to the customers. They're super happy with it. It looks really good in this lighting. Completed job.